Yo guys, it's me, Ja. Um, hope you're good. Um, what I want to get in today, so yesterday I posted up the podcast of um, obviously I was going to the cells and blah blah blah. So just as I um, basically just as I uploaded, police knocked on my door. It was like 12 o'clock, knocked on my door. Um, like, yo, Janaya, you want to come with us? You know, you've got a warrant, blah blah. 12 o'clock, took me down in the Mariah van. Not been in a Mariah van for time, yeah. So we've got new little cages in the back. And that was a weird experience in that little cage in the big massive Mariah's. I never knew about them little cages in the back, yeah. Boom, gets down there now. Gets booked in rapid, to be honest with you. Yeah, no cues. It was Saturday. Kind of dead. Gone in there. Boom, blah, blah. You know the questions, you know, blah, blah, blah. Into my cell. Thought I'd do a bit of manifesting and that. Like, close the eyes. I must have fell asleep. Boom. Knocked out now. Um, woke up five minutes later. Door cracks. You're going to court. So literally I've been in there an hour if that, gone straight through to court, boom. Do you want a solicitor? Nah, no solicitor. Because I thought it's just a driving offence, basically drink driving, like I told you. I blew 51, I had a licence, I had insurance. Normal person will get disqualified, yeah. Boom, goes into court, now I'm thinking, right, I'm just getting disqualification. I thought I didn't need a solicitor. Um, this matter has been adjourned for Crown Court in a month's time. So they've adjourned it for Crown, and I'm, I'm shocked, thinking, Ed, he said, because you're on a suspended sentence, Mr. Thompson, which doesn't end till December this year, you've committed a criminal offence whilst on this suspended sentence. The suspended sentence was for assault on a shopkeeper where he ran at me with a machete, I banged him, beat him up. So it was self-defence anyway. Should at least been in a fray. But anyway, he went to the police, got us all locked up. I got a 10-month suspended sentence. This was years ago. This happened in 219 or something like that. 220 well before my legs got chopped it up and so yeah like 219 then covid kicked in so it must have dragged out yeah but boom i've got the um suspension ends in december and i've been really good i've not been in trouble with the police you know like you all know i've been in trouble for the police for like for like four years yeah four years i've been out of trouble in it minus the three days in covid for missing a court date um so now i have to go to crown court for a driving offense which is basically I should just get disqualified. And my suspended sentence, which I've kept to every agreement and being good and not committed no crimes at all, they're now going to try to activate a 10-month prison sentence for drink driving where I blew 51, not even double the legal limit, right? And I had a licence and insurance. I should just get a disqualification. But they're actually attempting to activate a 10-month prison sentence for this just because of me. I know people can say, oh, yeah, but you have committed a criminal offence and you should be. That is right, that is law. But come on, look at the situation. A crime is not the same sort of crime. It's not a big major crime. It's like a roadside offence. You know, it's a, it's a disqualification. Now, I believe, yeah, call me paranoid, call me one, but, you know, probation. And I'm going to say this because I don't care if they see it. Fuck probation. You know, all my life, yeah, the probation never done nothing for me. Nothing at all. Probation done nothing apart from write bad reports and and be assholes, yeah, and 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 like I said to you, a police officer that stood on trial tried getting me twenty years, right, and I was found not guilty. Were made to be a liar. Before that, he were liaising in with probation, and after that, he were liaising in with probation. Do you understand? And I believe I seen the woman in court, the probation woman, smiling, <laughs> like little horrible, horrible woman, just smiling. I thought you horrible, horrible person, like to know of, of who I am. I know that I've been in jail from the age of 14, in and out, yeah? From the age of 14, in and out. What I was like, I was bad, do you get me? Whether, whether or not what people want to think, I don't care, I was bad, do you get me? Like, I was really bad, in and out of jail and all that madness, yeah? Which is not proud of none of that stuff. It is what it is, and it happened, yeah? But, like, for them to now know how good I've actually been, I've been out of jail four years straight, I've not committed no offences for four years, you know, I've not been arrested for no major offences in four years. And for them to, like, basically try and... Yeah, probation should be backing me up. And if probation don't back me up in this court and give me a good report, yeah, it's going to go mad. And do you know what it is? A sex offender, right? A sex offender in Liverpool. I mentioned it before on TikTok, yeah? Sexually assaulted a six-year-old girl when she was going to the shop, yeah? Probably for her mum, yeah, to get some... Or even just get some sweets, yeah? Shopkeeper assaulted her, yeah? Sexually, yeah? He got a 10-month community order, yeah? 10 month community order, yeah. I'll try to find the clippings and add it to this 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 thing if I can. Yeah. 10 month community order. They're trying to activate, yeah, a 10 month suspended sentence for drink driving on me. And you wanna tell me the system's not fucked, mate? 
the system's not fucked, but they'll have these guys out in the community and that. And listen, you know, because there's no way you can show respect to us. I don't know what I was going to say then. You get me, fuck a sex offender, yeah? Do you know, like, it don't make no sense. It don't make no sense how they can try to activate a 10 month prison sentence, yeah? For dry, drink driving blowing 51. When I had license insurance, it should be a disqualification. I, I know I keep saying it, repeating myself, but come on. Like, the system is mad, in it? The system is mad. A sex offender got a public order, yeah, for sexually assaulting a six-year-old. You're trying to activate a 10-month suspended sentence for drink driving. Do you know what I'm saying? Not even more than double the legal limit. Do you know what I mean? And I, I believe that's probation. I don't believe it's the police. I don't believe it's the police. I believe it's probation. There's... And I forgot her name. You know, if I could remember her name, the the head woman of probation. I've written letters a few times from jail and that. Horrible. There's another woman called Sally Bannister. Horrible. Horrible people. The reports to write about you is just mad. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, proper horrible. And you know what that Sally did? Let me tell you about his probation officer. I was on remand, yeah, for six months. No, sorry, recalled for six months, yeah. Six month recall, yeah. It's well, I think it might have been the last stint in prison, I can't remember. Minus the three days in COVID, yeah, but what count that? So my proper last prison sentence, I think this was it, yeah. So it was, yeah, it was, it was, it was, it was, 218, yeah. So now, I was, in a, I got arrested, yeah. I was in a van. I was driving a van, was coming up Leeds Road. Took a left just before me too, yeah. I was blocked in by, um, they say NCA, but it's not NCAs. It's like organised crime. You, They've got a different way. It's like, it's like, the, like the English SWAT. I don't know what they call them, like the police squad. There's a squad in it. It's not NCA, but it's like NCA. They come in golf hours and that. They block you in. They pull guns out. They tase you, yeah? That's exactly what's happened. I've been driving this van. They block me in, pull me out, tasered me, golf hours, every car you can think of, whatever, yeah? Got me, yeah? Boom. I've been recalled now for um, going equipped. Bear in mind, I'm in a work van. It's got all the work stuff in it. There's no crimes going on. They found a blowtorch. They found more grips. Stuff like that, but it was a work van. It wasn't even my van, didn't belong to me. I was borrowing the van. Boom now, get recall for that now. The guy with me admits it's his van, it's his tools, everything there's his. I still get recalled, yeah? Which is right, whatever, I get recalled. I got a call for this offence, it's kicked out. It's kicked out at court, yeah? But they tried making me go guilty and all this blagging my head, I'm not guilty, run it, boom, got kicked out, yeah? My guy, who's now doing a life sentence, owned up to it all, yeah? Bobby, yeah? Boom. So now that charge is dropped. So now that charge has dropped now. So now they've hit me with another charge, a phone charge whilst I was in prison on my previous sentence, yeah? Boom, that's gone to court now. Same thing again. A guy gave a statement saying it's his phone. He lent me the DVD player with the phone in it. They told me don't mention that in court. You can't mention that. Why can't I mention that? But fuck it, I won't mention it. I still got found not guilty. I stood on the, on the, on the stand, blah, blah, blah. I got found not guilty. Two police officers come into that trial as well to try and... They was gutted, not guilty. So now... These offences have, have been recalled. So now I'm saying probation, I want parole, I need to get out to this Sally woman, yeah? Then she's hit me with another charge. When I was in Marlins, 217, when a prisoner was stabbed three times and then he lost his life, they had to revive him three times, they had to revive him, a guy called Ricky, yeah? Boom. They've done that, yeah? Um, I was allegedly involved in that, yeah? I'm not saying I did that, but I was took to the segregation for it. Boom, now I'm in segregation. An officer's coming around with, like, hot water. I've got a woman officer, Miss Rose, down Marlins Block. If anyone's ever been there, she's a horrible bitch. She's coming in my cell. This is my... This is my... No, no, sorry. No, this is not, no she didn't do that yet. She's coming around with the hot water. She's chatting shit. And another, my toilet were blocked in it. So I've run out the pad now. Barged all the hot, like, the hot fucking things gone all over it. Splashed her on her arm a bit, the hot water, yeah. Boom, now. What's happened is... So the twist probably try wrapping me up. Just try to wrap me up, wrap me up, wrap me up. We're going, blah, blah, blah. you know, last walk out a while. I'm on the phone now. She's in my ear. This is Miss Rose. This is my wing. This is my unit. This is my segregation. I said, you silly woman. Keep the fucking, who wants to jail? I don't want no jail. It's yours. Keep it. Get me what you want about. It's mine. Now in my ear and that. Like, she's bad and that. Long story short, so I bust all them charges now in, um, in, the, in the, on my recall. So now Sally Bannister, yeah, horrible woman, hit me with this one. But I've already served block. I already got put on basic for this and served block time for this. For this, this, this. So to me, I've already been punished. So to me, it's double jeopardy now. You can't punish someone twice for the same thing. So now I've took it to court. It's an assault charge in it. So boom, 
that was the only charge so she tried a few more charges i just can't remember them all they're like six charges she actually tried and every time i got away with one they hit me with another one just so they didn't have to let me out and i got away with them all apart from this one this assault i had to go guilty um so what happened is um i come out of jail obviously I've, i'm fuming now i've ripped to this sally and that i'm fuming now guess what she's done when i've come out of jail because now I no sorry now i found out that the police officer that's been liaising with her all this time is the same one that tried to get me 20 years in prison yeah carl batty pc carl batty another knobhead yeah and he's a knobhead he is so he's liaising him with these chatting bare shit trying to get me 20 years and this and that. i found this out now so i mentioned this to sally guess what's happened when i've got really finally got released sally sacked my case she didn't want to work with me no more i got a new probation officer so this is what i mean about the probation service to come to your face all cool yeah right i've got i had one probation officer just now he were cool yeah I've got a new probation officer now. She seems a bit young. She seems all right, and I don't really mind her. You get me? Like, like, like she's she seems cool. She seems like she understands. Yeah. Let's hope when she writes a report for this court that it's there. And I'm in court on the 17th of October, Crown Court. Yeah. And anybody wants to come and and get that this court case on video. Yeah. Come down. Do you know why I'm saying that? Because you know if they activate my 10 month prison sentence. Yeah. For disqualified for not for disqualified driving for drink driving blowing 51 and give me 10 months in prison do you see them anyone around me they're not gonna put hands on me i'm gonna go crazy because i feel it's just the injustice like how can you do that to a guy to anybody not just me to anybody you know what i'm saying i think it's just mad yeah but yeah i thought i'd just you know get into that and, and let you lot know that the ins and outs of what what like do you do you agree with that though like do you think that that do you think that that's that's right when obviously <laughs> Sorry, excuse me. And obviously, you know that a guy like myself, in and out of jail my whole life. Now, only certain man can relate. You know, a certain man that I've done jail and, and I've turned a life around. I've been out of jail four years straight. I'm doing what I'm doing in the community, helping people and doing what I do. You know what I do in it. So, like, for them to then probation, probation, yeah. I don't even believe it's the police, it's probation to try and keep me in their grasp. They're going to try and send an offence that any normal person will just get a ban. They're going to try to activate a 10 month, put me put me in jail for five months. Five months for blowing 51. Are you mad? And you give a sex offender, yeah? You give a sex offender a nonce, yeah? A fucking dirty paedophile that touches a six year old when she goes in the shop, yeah? For fucking some sweeties, yeah? touches her up you give them a community order bro are you lot fucking stupid really and truly probation are you lot fucking stupid please come on man judges and that come on you can't do that to someone it's it's, it's it's mad i just don't get it i just don't get it so that's why obviously i was in court yesterday obviously i just wanted to ch touch on that you know what i mean because i feel like it's another injustice man the system do you understand and there's too many, too many men in the system that, that are under these injustices and that. Like, 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 they have to go for parole and go for parole and go for parole. But you'll give a sex offender cat D and let him out in the community fucking three times a week. Do you get me? I don't give a fuck anyway. I don't give a fuck, man. It's, 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 it's mad. It's mad. And it, it does it. It gets me mad. You know what I'm saying? It gets me mad, man. Like, something needs to be done about this system. Really and truly, it does. It does. For them to try and send that to Crown Court, though, it's mad, isn't it? Regardless if I'm on a suspended sentence, it's not as if I'm on a suspended sentence for driving and I've committed another driving offence. I'm on a suspended sentence because some big seven-foot shopkeeper come out with two machetes and got punched up. Do you get me? Like, even that situation, do you know what I mean? That case, let me let me take you through that case real quickly and show you this this other next, this how the, this how they go on, though. So now... Me and my mate, we're driving on the road. These times I'm active, you get me? I'm, 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 I'm on the road, I'm active, yeah? A few years ago, yeah? Boom, we're driving on the road, yeah? We're driving, no, sorry, we're driving past. My mate spits out the window, yeah? He's got a dirty habit of spitting. I don't like spitting myself, but he spits. That guy in one must have thought we're spitting towards him. We weren't, he just spat out the window. We're driving on there. So now we're coming back on the same road, yeah? Because this is how it ends. So now the shopkeepers come out into the road, stop the car. Yeah, try pulling man out, like grabbing man through things. So I've jumped out of the car, yeah. He's got tools on him, whatever. Obviously, I've punched him up. It's on camera. You can see what's going on. So then he's come, then they've all come running out of the shop with like bats, machetes, whatever. 
So we drove off, gone and got a Jeep, drove back in the Jeep. I've been sentenced for this anyway. Drove back in the Jeep. I've drove the Jeep straight out of the shop. Boom, rammed the shop, yeah? Put a little hole in the side of the shop. Then, um, then um, obviously, they've come out in the street again with the machetes and the tools and blah, 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 yeah? So it's a little commotion now. So it's like in a fray, like we're all having a big domestic in the street. But now this guy's rung the police and, and, and said that, obviously, what's happened, yeah? But when you see the CCTV, yeah, the whole thing that triggered this whole thing is him walking out into the street and stopping our car. We were going past, because on that road is a bit of traffic, end of Southfield Lane, there's a bit of traffic. He walks out into the road and stops our car. So who instigated that whole incident? Who started that whole incident? But then he rung the police, got us all arrested, and he, he come to court, give evidence... But I was like, how can they do this? You know, like, where's the justice in this? And then, you know what it is? They offered me a suspended sentence. They knew if I went to trial, yeah, which I really, really regret not doing, yeah. If I went to trial, I'd have got away with it because he's stopped our car. He's the aggressor. He started the whole incident. But these are just little things that happen to like people like me. And there's a lot of men like me where this stuff happens where we get, where we get, where we're always the bad, the bad person in any situation. Like no one will ever believe our side of the story. You get me? We never ever believed it. Apart, I shout out the juries that you know I've had a lot of trials. Yeah, I think I've had up to like six or seven trials now. I'm being found not guilty every time. Yeah, and shout out the juries because the juries actually do actually listen to you. You get me? Like some of them. And well, in my case, is all of them. You get me? Because people like. No, when you're telling the truth in it, like, look, people might watch me and think this guy chat shit, little kids and that, but real, recognize real, and you know when someone's telling the truth in it, like, you know when someone's not lying in it, like. But um, yeah, just wanted to get into that, mate, because I just felt like that's just bad what they try to do to me there. It's bad, man. It's really bad. So yeah, seventeenth of October, Crown Court. I'm in there. And um, let's see, let's see what they're doing. It, see what they try to do. But yeah, man, peace out, guys, yeah. Stay blessed, just jar, yeah. Negative to positive, yeah. I know I'm kind of pissed off today. Uh, this situation, though, not life. I love life. I get me, life's good. Everything's blessed. It's just the little injustices that, 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 that these people try to do, especially probation. This is why I'll always say, F probation. Never done note for me. Never, ever in your life done note for me, apart from right bad bad negative reports in any situation never looked at my side of the story like they say there's two sides to every story in it it's two sides but a lot of people don't look at it that way especially there's, there's, i know a hundred man like me you get me like i've met in jail i'm i'm, I'm known you know what i mean people now to this day oh, this guy's not changed this guy's not that this guy's i've changed me because i haven't changed mate. certain people out here do you think they would still like be able to move out like like certain man i see like 100 gram watches and that, and I think to myself, no, no, if I was on road and that, like, if I was really on it and that, phew, do you know what I mean, like, trust me, I've changed, trust me, like, I'm a different guy, and if people, people that know me, knowing it, like, my proper people, they know, you know, you get me, but at the same time, I'm not going to accept it, injustice or some, some bullshit, I'm not having it, I'm not having it, do you know what I mean, I'm not having disrespect, I'm not having, I'm not having this, like, it makes me mad, the system, the system's making me mad. But hopefully, you know, the judge can see. Because sometimes you get a good judge. And hopefully the judge can see. And the, even the, hopefully the prosecution can see, man. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, come on. Come on, man. But anyway, stay blessed, guys, yeah. Peace out. Just ya. Yeah. Negative to positive. Like, share, subscribe.